Battle above Taloran. Fight the Empire for control of the Tabana gas platforms, but be careful not to harm the civilian operations there. Kind of interesting that they, uh, you know, they mentioned Tabana on a yeah. different planet. Yes, apparently it's not exclusive to Bespin, I think. Which makes sense. Yeah. You know, it's, if it, it's an element or something. Right. It, it's like certain gas giants have it. So Taloran has it. And this planet came from the Star Wars Adventure Journal also, just like Barkesh. Mm. So, and actually, I remember the article it was in. It was a, it was an adventure module, actually, from from uh, issue number five. The new threat. The Phantom the Scroll threat. looks great in this oh, game, yeah. by the way, compared to other ones from that same time. <laughs> a new Moff. It's always a new Moff in every game. Moff Rebus. <laughs> Cole Searden. That's right. Preparing to capture Thyphera, or Typhera, however you say it. Precious supply of the healing back to Searden is now consolidating his power. Bum, 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 bum. But yeah, I think like Jedi Knight and some of the other games, the crawl was kind of it was getting better than it than the pixelated one and like TIE Fighter and stuff, mm -hmm. but it was still kind of weird, kind of the speed of it was strange and this one though for the late 90s looks really good it should have been a template that was easy to pull from as far as like the mm -hmm. stats like the letters or at this right. angle at going at this speed all but... right same animation as before just replace it with a wings <laughs> it's a beauty Unfortunately, the Imperials own it. They harvest the Tabana gas to use in their weapons. It increases their firepower. No car. They process and store it on these floating platforms. There are civilians down there, too, so make sure what you're shooting at is Imperial. We're here to take out their Tabana gas supplies and do whatever damage we can to the local TIE fighter squadron. Huh. Now I know what it's like to be on the other side of one of these little raids. Uh -huh. she, she just starts <laughs> shooting civilians. <laughs> the Tabana gas. Calibrate 7 Mark 9. So yeah, I think there's something on the platform. Maybe it... I don't know if you're supposed to take out those giant tubes or if there was something in between. I think anything with Imperial oh, symbols the logo. on it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's it. It's all coming back. Excellent work. Corellian Corvette. It's nice that the Empire plastered their logo. I know, right? <laughs> Lest anyone think that <laughs> those tanks belong to anyone else. Right. Side. Let's check our fire. Oh, I didn't shoot it. Oh. <laughs> Good job. It's a long fall. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're <laughs> kidding. <laughs> liquid methane if it's anything like Bespin you know the the way they explain Bespin being able to survive on it like in the air 
because it is a gas giant so you think why would the gravity not crush cloud city or right, other right. places they have what in one of the role-playing guides and i think this is mentioned in some other reference books they have this band around part of bespin called the life zone mm -hmm. and i guess the gravitation and the oxygen and everything is uh is okay for most species well that, that makes sense because there's kind of those bands in the ocean right that, like... yes yes i've got a problem here help me out here <laughs> can't be everywhere at once dudes Oh, you know, that reminds me, there's a website, I think Wikipedia does this to a certain degree, but there's there's a good website I discovered that focuses on the roster of Rogue Squadron during each era. Mm -hmm. So, because sometimes when you read the Rogue novels and there's a battle, it just says nine here, six here, three checking in, but it's like... Sometimes I don't remember who is what who, number. Who they are, yeah. Yeah, so it's like I I would use this blog as reference when I was reading uh, the last time a few years ago, and it really helped. Plus, it's also interesting just to know how the roster changes from story to story and who's in it at what time. Like, I think during this period here... Tycho is still uh I don't know about second in command but he he's one of the pilots alongside Wedge so he goes back quite a quite a number of years before he was accused of being a traitor in uh the Kratos trap traitor <laughs> Skywalker. Those are civilians. Uh, pretty sure the civilians aren't shooting at me. <laughs> Dickhead. You remember the whole thing in the Kratos trap where it was like the trial of Tycho Selchu? Um, or... vaguely familiar. It was like, okay, so he people think he's a spy. He was in. There's all this incriminating evidence and stuff that he might have been. <laughs> Dude, his his mind might have been altered by Isan Isard, mm -hmm. and um, so they're trying to defend him. Oh, that he that he blew up Corin because they think Corin's dead. Oh yeah, 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 most of that book during uh, the capture of Coruscant, and then meanwhile the other half of the book is Corin trying to deal with escaping the Lusankia which you don't realize until the end of the novel is on Coruscant and lifts off from the city. Right. It's like under it, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That, that was, was kind of a, cool. that was a cool scene in that book. That was. And then the scene where Corrin finds his grandfather's lightsaber, like in this relic part of, it's like this old dusty museum section of uh, somewhere in Coruscant. And he like ignites the lightsaber and it's pretty badass. This reminds me of Bespin. My squadron scouted it once for a possible Imperial takeover. Too small though. I almost felt like the the first four X-wing books by Stackpole were they almost get Coruscant too fast because it happens in at the end of the second book. So I can tell oh. you one thing, Luke. The officer on duty is not going to enjoy explaining this damage to the local moth. He may not live to tell about it. Moth Theoden is notoriously unforgiving. Hey, there a you win's go. a win. 
<laughs> I thought it was a loss because of your death at the end. Yeah, I, I know. Like, oh, I know. Shit. But, uh, you know. <sighs> that was that was a pretty relatively easy mission. Yeah. Nice breath of fresh air. During the Talaran Let's just say that um, the rebel commandos stole several ATPTs from an Imperial base on Fest. Unfortunately, their escape did not proceed as well as they expected. The uh, Fest level on Dark Forces is much less challenging than the one in this game. Yeah, no kidding. Can I go on on foot, please? <laughs> <laughs> I'll remember my ice cleats. Yeah. And and how to put them on. Right. That's that's the most challenging part of the fest level in Dark Forces is, is just remembering yeah. to and how to put them on. Yes. Rebel commandos are attempting to liberate a squad of ATPTs. Their escape has become compromised, and we need your help to get them out of there. The speeders and tow cables will help you with any walkers you may find. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Actually, I just remember it's the ice cleats on and TV. Because Fest is more the windy, cold planet near the beginning. Oh, of the is it? I the forgot. One, yeah, yeah. The the ice planet that has the the uh, the other thing. You're yeah, no, I I get you. I I, I yeah. remember. Oh, and yeah, and TV. Well, Fest has its just... own issue with trying to figure out how to leave the level. Yes, first trying to find the base, the elevator that goes to down into it. So it's kind of a maze in the canyons, and then it's a maze on the way out. Yeah. Oh, I totally... I mean, this was ice, so... Yeah. I kind of just assumed. Oh, you assumed that Star Wars planets all have one topographic uh, uh, environment? Bios biosphere, yeah. <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't it? Why right? wouldn't you think that? Yeah. Actually, that there was some good explanations for that like in the planets and moons uh essential guide and some other stuff i mean it's it's like the real universe where depending on the location of a planet or moon in relation to its star a lot of them are just gonna have one environment i mean look at mars it's mostly fucking rock and you got some ice caps that's basically it right earth earth really is diverse because of its Goldilocks position. Well, and certainly, I think, like, in past eras, like when dinosaurs were around, it was much more uh, tropical across the yeah. board, right? Yeah, it I don't was. Think. I'm not yeah, sure, the, but... entire, the entire world mostly was like Thailand. <laughs> it was hot and moist and tropical with giant trees and giant spiders and all that stuff. Oh, I wonder oh, God. if they're going to come straight down here. I think they do. So when this AT-AT gets taken out, then then the tank should spawn wherever the the ATPTs are nearing. Because this is the second AT-AT, right? This is the third. Well, this is the third. Yeah, I already took I out the second I don't know. real quick. I don't know. Maybe they're dealing with the tanks right now. Well, the tanks sure. spawn when this thing goes. It's just so many oh. effing tanks. See? Okay, there... I just saw the ATPTs. Okay, there's the tanks. They are spawning on either side. Uh-huh. It's hard to get, get a beat it. on them because they're super slow. Yep. And obviously, you're using your air brakes as best you can, right? Yeah. As best you can. They, they take more hits than than you would think. Takes like a good solid eight or ten. <laughs> Doing good. Doing good. A few more. I think there's maybe one or two more tanks. Oh shit! They keep spawning. <laughs> there's too many. <laughs> They came <gasps> from behind. <laughs> oh, here comes the tie bombers. Yep. 
But they're kind of random on their bomb attacks, so the tanks are more of a threat while they still are alive. Yeah, but I, I, ex I experienced that, that quote-unquote random oh, get tie bomber bastards. crap on Jedi Knight, and it got bombed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, certainly take them out while you can. And I think more will respawn. But at least the tanks, once they are done, they are done at a certain point. Good shot. All right, I think there's one more tank. Is that a shitty that... sand crawler? <laughs> it's Imperial it's sand actually crawler. A, it looks like it. It's And you know what? That ship was a transport that came from the... Uh, courtship of princess leia it's a y4 raptor uh transport and i think it was something that zinge had good job watch for enemy fighters i'm on it good good is there is there one more tank near the uh atpts i'm i don't think there's anything there i think i cleared all that Ooh. out all right keep an eye out for tie bombers that's what i was i was just kind of going for the uh what Whoa. you call it Oh, your wingman. I was like, I saw a bomber go down, and I was like, damn, I guess they actually did get one. The good thing is they fly slow. It's easy to get up right on them. Doing good. If one happens to blow up, still got one alive. Yes. Now let's go back and take care of that research facility. Oh, come on. <laughs> that, that was what I was saying. I knew at some point. No, I know. I, 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 I wasn't I wasn't sure if it would be a, uh, a like a bonus. Holy crap. That's a load oh, of tools. Oh, shit. But this is your first life on this continue, right? Uh, yeah, I believe the so. The best not to challenge that. Yeah, we've already to. done. We've already attempted this like 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> I like how it had to change camera angles and everything. Yeah, it had to show you in all of, all your glory. <laughs> Fortune and glory, kid. Fortune and glory. We'll just quote Andy the whole run through this game. Doesn't matter if the universe is different. Could be the same universe. <laughs> that's true there was that star wars tales uh comic story back in the early 2000s where uh i think it was like han and chewy crash the falcon and han tries to go for help and disappears and i don't know it was something where there was a, in, indy shows up and he finds like chewbacca hanging around the falcon like i don't know it was a weird strange crossover yeah well it was it wasn't um was that the same one where Excellent work. chewy was like the yes. the source of bigfoot work, yes Squadron. that's the one yeah would have been used by moss beard and the local imperial governor we believe he's consolidating his forces for an attack on our back to supply. wow three so ap atpts i know which, we're <laughs> really scary place. Good work. Yeah, that would be terrifying if Moff ha seared him, had him. <laughs> All right, you ready for Celest? Yeah. <laughs> totally. Hey, at least now we know why Cassian was such a jaded asshole. That's right. Fucking hate fest. <laughs> The, the name of the level is apt. Escape from Moss Fest. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Chandrilla. I forgot that comes... Help the innocent people of Chandrilla protect the supply train and stop the Empire. I forgot it becomes... It, it, it comes up before Celis because... Reason being, this level was super easy for me. I beat it on the first try. You're just following, I think, a hover train and protecting it and... I had no problem. I mean, yeah, as long as they don't, it, as long as I don't get cute. Yeah, um, but who knows? Maybe I had a fluke. Maybe it'll be a few tries. It's hard to say, but I was amazed I got so lucky after Fest. Rogue Squadron, this is General Riken. Chandrilla is under attack. 
Imperial forces are attempting to bombard and surround the city with wall builders. You must protect the hover train. The wall supplies builders. it is carrying must reach Chandrilla, or we will lose the city. We can't get over walls. <laughs> so, Chandrilla, do you remember whose homeworld that is? Uh, not off the top of my head, no. Mon Mothma. What in the... Yeah, Mon Mothma was the senator for Chandrilla in the Imperial and the Republic Senate. Our troop has stabilized and broken loose again. See if you can't lock it down. What's for enemy fighters? And then in the new canon, after Return of the Jedi and after the Battle of Jakku, the New Republic has uh, set up Chandrilla as their capital. At least until Hosnian Prime becomes that later. But it's funny that Chandrilla kind of took the spot of Coruscant in the uh, post Return of the Jedi. Um, as far as like where the, their main base is. Yeah. Well, is there a reason explained? I think it was just because like Chandrilla is in the core world, so it, it was close enough to Coruscant to be still considered a, a, um, a prime like g world in the galactic center yeah and that, that is kind of weird right now that this is six months after a new hope and we've already got a rebel battle on a core world but right. there was there was some battles here and there in the core they just were if anything they were protected in the media is not mentioned as happening <laughs> you know right but like in the new canon was it was it that they moved the capital around? I don't yes. remember. Yeah, they did. They they started at Chandrilla, and then there was, uh, I think it was in the visual guide for uh, Force Awakens, they said the capital would move around, I think, like, every few years, so as to not be... I think they wanted to be representative of the whole galaxy, and by, by not saying this one spot is special, right? you know... <laughs> blows up on the hover train. <laughs> Rebel scum, this is Mark Sheridan. Your resistance Rebel is scum. See, I have blockaded the city, and Chandrilla is now mine. You will surrender, or I will shoot you all down. <laughs> that guy would be a good voice actor for Tarkin. Yeah, a little bit. We should have just made it Moff Tarkin. I mean, <laughs> he's dead, but... His ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Arkin's long lost uh, brother. It's uh, the love child from him and Dala. <laughs> yeah, I kind of, even though Admiral Dala was kind of a. Not really an. Maybe she got more depth as the stories went on because I know she was. She was in those Fate of the Jedi books that were post new jedi order so maybe she got fleshed out but early on in the jedi academy trilogy she was a pretty one note villain she yeah just, she just even when she came her. back right because she came back in dark saber i think yes yes she was trying to unite the splintered factions of the moths and then when those certain moths didn't want to she just gassed them and right took them out yeah with the uh, pelion but yeah, it was still just kind of a. It was still just kind of a generic. Um, I want to destroy the New Republic kind of thing, and it's yeah, like yeah, they should have. Uh, okay, they should have fleshed her out more. Yep, but she... maybe they did. Like I said, and I just didn't get to those books. Yeah. Because I think I think she was the catalyst um, for. Um, I think she was from what I read on summaries. I think she was trying to accuse the Jedi of of things and that they should be disbanded um, later on. So there was probably some political um, maneuverings. Well, it sounds like she did then. I mean, I never got past the New Jedi Order. That's when I yeah. That's when I burned out a bit. 
Yeah, let's see. My furthest book on the timeline would be The Shadow Academy, <laughs> Young Jedi Knights. <laughs> Jeez. That's the furthest, which is still pretty far. It's uh it's not New Jedi Order far, but it's uh I think 18 or 19 after years after uh, Endor. Yeah, that's the other series I'm looking forward to continuing is Young Jedi Knights. It's been a few years since I read the last one. Commander, we have TIE bombers and TIE interceptors on scanners. Yeah, this this mesh this mission is a uh, nice breath of fresh air after <laughs> yeah. the rest. And you'll need that breath of fresh air before you, you're going to the volcanic, cloudy, smoky planet of Sullus next. Yeah. Yeah, I think in some cases they, they probably could have used a slightly slower uh, difficulty curve. It's kind of like the, the game is relatively easy. See, there you go. Yeah. And then it hits this wall at Fest. Yeah. Have your RT unit lock it down, Kaysen. Kaysen Moore? Ah, of course. Mock Theoden. How pathetic. Allying yourself with those rebel criminal rogue squadrons. You and your so-called rogues helped in the absconding of my ATPTs and the plundering of my research facility. My retaliation shall be swift and just. There is nothing just about your actions. Do you no longer harbor any loyalty to our Emperor? Defecting to the rebel terrorists shall be your undoing, Kaysen. Unfortunate to lose such a fine officer, but the weak will die off to make room for the strong. It is the way of the universe. Farewell, little rodent. There you are, you coward. Do you think you can get away in that shuttle? Kaysen, do not pursue that ship. Repeat, do not pursue Sirden. We don't know how many ships he has backing him up. We must remain here to secure Chandrilla. I copy. <laughs> coward. <laughs> that was pretty good. It's funny that they just leave their comms open for anyone to listen in. I know, it's right? Like... Yeah. <laughs> what?